Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the testing of the Angular services that make the HTTP calls, especially focusing on a service that interacts with an Angular HTTP client. So we will not use the HTTP client testing module. So I will try to explain you about this one. But I will try to show you how we can do it with using the Jasmine, uh, how to use a spy object to mock the HTTP client in unit test, allowing you to test your services without making actual HTTP requests. So I will try to provide you a clear explanation and a full working example of testing a, some basic service. I will try to take it and uh, using Jasmine and uh, Angular testing utilities, we'll try to do it. So that means now this video is uh, regarding testing of the Angular service, which makes an HTTP calls. I am not using the Angular HTTP testing client like uh, client testing module. I will try to do it in our upcoming videos. First, I will try to show you without using the HTTP client testing module, how we can test a Angular service, which makes an HTTP call using the Jasmine spy object and all those things. So fine. <clears throat> so for this one, what I will be trying to do is I will create a hero service. So which you normally you'll be able to see the testing thing. So where most probably you'll be able to see it in our examples or something like that. So here I will try to create a hero hero dot service dot ts file so let's try to make it hero dot service dot ts file okay so this is our service file it can be any service so here in this one we will try to call we make an http call via http client service so you people already know about the http client in testing you mock the http client using a jasmine spy object to simulate its behavior the test ensures that the service behaves as expected it should return the correct data when the http call is success and it should handle the error appropriately when the HTTP call fails. So these are the two testing scenarios which we need to test it. So steps for this one is what we'll try to do. So first we'll create uh, Jasmine dot create spy object to create a mock and inject this mock into the service being tested. And we'll use the helper functions like async data and async error to simulate the HTTP call. And we'll write the test to validate the both success and the failure scenarios. So let's try to see. So first of all, I will create an HTTP client for this one. So here the service is there. So let's say that export interface, I will be having a simple uh, interface hero. Okay. In this one, you will have simple ID number and also the name of type string. So this is a simple example, which I would be trying to explain you. And here, <coughs> what I will be having is, so let's try to create a thread injectable. So it should be injectable and it should be provided in root. So this is the common thing, which you people already know and export class hero service okay so this is our hero service and here let's try to do it yeah hero service and here you'll be having uh let's say a base url you're having a base url let's say that uh, slash api slash heroes or something so any any url so it can be any url so just i'm trying to take the base url something like this so you can you can have some json placeholder url or something like that but here purely we are concentrating on the testing so i am trying to use it like this and we can inject the HTTP client, HTTP client is equal to inject, inject of HTTP client. You can use this like this or, uh, or otherwise you can use the constructor also to inject the HTTP client. So get heroes. So we'll be having a method get heroes, which returns an observable of hero. And here you can return this dot HTTP client, sorry, this dot HTTP client dot get get method so we'll we'll call the get get method and this returns say hero array of hero okay and here i can use this dot base url that's it so now this one returns an observable okay observable of hero that's it so here base url is equal to so let's remove this one yeah that's it so now this is our thing or otherwise you can also use heroes url Okay, so base URL means it will something like it differs some the meaning will change. This is our service file. Now we need to write the testing uh, service for this one. Okay, so we need to write the uh, test case for this one. So let's try to write the test case for this one. So here what happened to this one? What is the wrong in this one? Let's see. Nothing is there. So let's go and create our hero.spec.ts file. So okay hero dot service dot spec dot ts file so this is our spec file so let's try to implement so for this one so first what you will do describe this is common hero service okay so now here you will be having the 
टेस्ट केसेस सो फर्स्ट वन लेट्स क्रिएट द आई विल हैव ए बिफोर ईच फंक्शन सो फॉर ईच टेस्ट केस इट विल एक्सिक्यूट बिफोर ईच ओके एंड इन दिस बिफोर ईच सो दिस टेक्स ए मेथड ओके एंड हियर यू विल बी हैविंग एच टी पी क्लाइंट स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी नीड टू क्रिएट द एच टी पी क्लाइंट स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट जासमिन डॉट क्रिएट स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट इज नथिंग बट विच वील ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट इज द एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट एंड इन दिस वन वील हैव ओनली वन मेथड सो वी आर मॉकिंग ओनली वन मेथड दैट इज नथिंग बट गेट मेथड ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू क्रिएट दिस मेथड एट द टॉप सो दैट इट कैन बी एक्सेसिबल एवरीवेयर सो हियर एच टी टी पी क्लाइंट स्पाई विच इज ऑफ टाइप वॉट यू कैन से इट इज ऑफ टाइप जासमिन ऑब्जेक्ट सो जासमिन डॉट विच इज ऑफ टाइप जासमिन सो हियर यू कैन हैव लेट ओके लेट विच इज ऑफ जासमिन डॉट स्पाई ऑब्जेक्ट you can have a spy object and which is of type http client so you are making it as like this so that's it so now what you will try to do here we need to create a service okay hero service so let's try to have a hero service is equal to new hero service and we need to pass the http client spy object okay as like this one so now we can send this and hero service it should be um, something like <coughs> let hero service of type hero service okay and here we are getting an object okay so this one we need to use a client testing module so that's why we are getting this issue so we instead of this one we'll use a constructor constructor private HTTP client of type HTTP client, okay, that's it. So we can also use it like this, and this also works without any problem. So now we got the hero service and everything. Now what I would be trying to do it is, so here we got these things, right? So let's try to uh, what I would be trying to do this one is so fine. So this is done. Now before each uh, is done, okay, before each. So we have created this one all. So first one is. Test case, it should return expected heroes. Okay, so it should return expected heroes. That is nothing but HTTP client called once, and also it should be called only once. And here we need to call the function. So here we will be writing this test case, and another one is it. So the another test case which you will be writing is it should. it should return an error when the server returns 404 so this one also we need to test cases so now these are the two test cases we need to write so when it is a success scenario and also when it is a failure scenario so first of all we need to check it with a success scenario whether the http call is making the request or not whether if it is failing means it is successfully making a request or not and also we need to make sure that http client request or http request should be made only once and here also like that only so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to implement the functionality and also the logic how we can implement the success scenario and also the error scenario so this is how we will be implementing the simple zero service and also the zero service dot spec dot ts file hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you